The House of God is a satirical novel by Samuel Shem, published in 1978. The novel follows a group of medical interns at a fictionalized version of Beth Israel Hospital over the course of a year in the early 1970s, focusing on the psychological harm and dehumanization caused by their residency training. The book, described by the New York Times as raunchy, troubling and hilarious, was viewed as scandalous at the time of its publication, but acquired a cult following and ultimately came to be regarded as a touchstone in the evolving discussion of humanism, ethics, and training in medicine. Storyline Dr. Roy Bash is an intelligent but naive intern working in a hospital called the House of God after completing his medical studies at the BMS. He is poorly prepared for the grueling hours and the sudden responsibilities without good guidance from senior attending physicians. He begins the year on a rotation supervised by an enigmatic and iconoclastic senior resident who goes by the name The Fat Man. The fat man teaches him that the only way to keep the patients in good health and to survive psychologically is to break the official rules. The fat man provides his interns with wisdom such as his own laws of the house of God. One of his teachings is that in the house of God, most of the diagnostic procedures, treatments, and medications received by the patients known as gummers actually harm these patients instead of helping them. Bash becomes convinced of the accuracy of the fat man's advice and begins to follow it. Because he follows the fat man's advice and does nothing to the gummers, they remain in good health. Therefore, ironically, his team is recognized as one of the best in the hospital, and he is recognized as an excellent intern by everyone, even though he is breaking the rules. Later, the fat man must leave for a rotation with another team. Roy is then supervised by a more conventional resident named Joe, who, unlike the fat man, follows the rules, but ironically, unknowingly hurts the gummers by doing so. Bash survives the rotation with Joe by claiming to perform numerous tests and treatments on the gummers while in reality he does nothing. These patients again do well, and Bash's reputation as an excellent intern is maintained. The book also details the great amount of hard, distasteful work the interns must perform, the sometimes poor working conditions, their lack of sleep, their lack of time to spend with friends and family, and the emotional demands of the work. During the course of the novel, working in the hospital takes a psychological toll on Bash. His personality and outlook change, and he has outbursts of temper. He has adulterous trysts with various nurses and social service workers and his relationship with his girlfriend Berry suffers. A colleague, Wayne Potts, who had been constantly badgered by the upper hierarchy and haunted by a patient, commits suicide. Bash becomes more callous and he secretly euthanizes a patient, a man called Sol the Leukemic Taylor, whose illness had gone into remission but was back in the hospital in incredible pain and begging for death. Bash becomes more and more emotionally unstable, until finally his friends force him to attend a mime performance by Marcel Marceau where he has an experience of catharsis and recovers his emotional stability. By the end of the book, it turns out that the psychiatry resident, Cohen, has managed to inspire almost the whole year's group of interns and two well-spoken policemen, Gilhini and Quick, to pursue a career in psychiatry, and that the terrible year has convinced most of the interns to receive psychiatric help. The book ends with Bash and Berry vacationing in France before he begins his psychiatry residency, which is how the book begins as well, because the whole book is a flashback. But even while vacationing, bad memories of the house of God haunt Bash. He is convinced that he could not have gotten through the year without Berry, and he asks her to marry him. Laws of the house of God, gummers don't die. Gummers go to ground, at a cardiac arrest, the first procedure is to take your own pulse. The patient is the one with the disease, placement comes first. There is no body cavity that cannot be reached with a number 14G needle and a good strong arm. AGE plus BUN equals LASIX dose. They can always hurt you more. The only good admission is a dead admission. If you don't take a temperature, you can't find a fever, show me a BMS who only triples my work and I will kiss HIS feet. If the radiology resident and the medical student both see a lesion in the chest X-ray, there can be no lesion there. The delivery of good medical care is to do as much nothing as possible. Equals later laws equals, 
Shem added four more laws in his reflection at the house of God thirty-four years later. Connection comes first, learn empathy, speak up, learn your trade, in the world. Context and impact, the book takes place during the Watergate scandal, and follows such events as the resignation of Spiro T. Agnew and the stepping down of Richard Nixon. The book is very likely autobiographical, as the BMS is a thinly veiled Harvard Medical School, and the House of God representing the Beth Israel Hospital, now a part of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, one of the HMS-affiliated hospitals in Boston, Massachusetts. Man's Best Hospital represents Massachusetts General Hospital. There are also references to a community hospital called M.T. St. Elsewhere or M.T. St. E. S., which likely represents Boston City Hospital Street Elizabeth's Medical Center or Mount Auburn Hospital which was part of the Harvard Medical School teaching hospital system. Some American doctors felt that the House of God resonated with their own experiences during their internship training. However, according to the author, many older physicians were offended by the work. Many of the terms defined in this book have since become widely known and used in medical culture. It is difficult to say which came first, the book or the terms, but terms such as bounce back and turf are now in standard medical usage. Similarly, many of the concepts central to the book are now well accepted medical truisms. For example, since the 1970s false risks has become a standard assessment for all patients and the notion that gummers go to ground is well established, if not always phrased in those terms. Glossary Several of the terms common to the jargon of junior hospital staff are widely popularized by the book, to turf, to bounce, gummer, lol in NAD. Zebra. Buff the charts. Cultural references, in jokes abound in the work. One of the principal characters is Eat My Dust Eddie, a doctor so-called because of the saying embroidered on his jacket. His name is often abbreviated as EMD which is also the acronym of the feared terminal cardiac event electromechanical dissociation, otherwise known as pulseless electrical activity. In 1984, a film was made out of the book but never released in theaters or on VHS DVD. The film was shown on HBO a few times, mostly as filler in non-peak hours. It starred Charles Hayde as the fat man, Tim Matheson as Roy, with Bess Armstrong, Ossie Davis, Sandra Bernhard, and Michael Richards in supporting roles. The TV medical sitcom drama Scrubs features numerous references to the House of God, which was reading material for some of the show's writers. 1. Turfing, bouncing, and gummers occasionally feature in the show's dialogue. In the episode My Balancing Act, Dr. Cox quotes the zebra rule and in the episode My Student, J.D. quotes the medical student rule, a famous doctor once said, Show me a med student that only triples my work, and I'll kiss his feet. One episode focuses on Dr. Dorian saving a patient by doing nothing, which is a major theme of the novel. Notes Bibliography, Samuel Shem. The House of God 1979. ISBN 0-440-13368-8. Samuel Shem. Mount Misery. 1999. ISBN 0-552-99813. Sequel of the House of God. External links, The Fat Man's Laws of the House of God, Film Review at the NYU Literature, Arts, and Medicine Database site, The House of God at the Internet Movie Database, Rob Reed Hood. The House of God, 15th Anniversary Review. New England Journal of Medicine 335, 1165 a Euro 1166-DOI, 10.1056-NEJM1996-1010331521 30th Anniversary Review by Kit Boys in the NZMSJ, Winter R. Berg B. The Clan of the Cave Bear Meets the House of God. Fam Med 36, 95 a Euro 7. PMID 14872355. Theshlantic.com